Welcome to another video on game development with Asha Kangsha Foundation. In today's video, we will add obstacles to our game. So we were at a stage where we were able to move our ball left and right while it moves constantly forward. So now we're going to add some obstacles in the way of that ball uh, on the same platform uh, that will prevent the ball from moving forward. So let's see how it turns out. Let's add some small obstacles just to make a like see how things work in rigid body with rigid body 3D. So okay, not a cylinder but some cubes. Yeah, this. Uh, where is it placed? We need a little more colorful scene. So we'll go to materials, create a new material here. Add some red. Nice bright colors. Drop it over the cube. So since we're just about like we just aligned with the z-axis, we're not able to actually view the scene properly. So we'll move the main camera a little towards the a little left or yeah just a little bit and rotate it over as well just to give it a little more perspective let's see what happens now Okay, the ball just bounced back. And now it's gonna fall. Yeah, that was, so if you see the 3D features, those are amazing in Unity. So um, now we're going to add some, so here the cube is currently, uh, we haven't added any other colliders or rigid body so firstly i'm going to make this a rigid body so that it behaves just like the ball making it a little lighter than the ball so that it's easier for the ball to push it away oops so we'll just dissociate the camera from the player right now just to ensure that we can see what's happening. Okay, so well, it seems like some forces are taking into action, and what we are actually applying here is a translation, uh, which basically we are trying to move the board in some opposite direction as to the direction of force so when the ball collided with this um, object it also received some force from that object and now that force is force it's basically making the ball change its direction which is hindering the motion so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make the player as you might have guessed just a kina kinematic object now it's not going to be affected by forces but rather uh, it will push away other objects and keep moving we learned these kinds of rigid bodies earlier so rigid body 2d had three parts like three kinds 
one was static one was dynamic and the third was kinematic and there we did not apply the kinematic feature but these are the kinds of objects where kinematic objects uh, where kinematic type actually uh, comes into play so we can add a few more uh, cubes place them up using the same Okay, here we are. Just move them around a little bit. Yeah, let's try this out. So if these are obstacles, we don't want to collide with them and so we'll just try to avoid them a little bit and move away. So later we can probably add triggers and everything to make sure that, the, that any collision is recognized and we are like basically the game ends or some points are lost on collisions. Right now, I think there is one cube which is over the other, so that's why it's basically getting um, collided with the like when when the game initiates. Since these are rigid bodies, they cannot be above each other, so it basically moves away. Yay! So we were able to make a very basic ball movement in this video and we were able to add these obstacles in the way. So in this game we added some obstacles and we were able to successfully navigate our ball to the end through those obstacles. So this, this is an end to the basics of game development in 3D and from the next videos we will explore a much uh, higher dimension of 3D development by adding some really good animations, uh, really good uh, graphics to the game. So I hope you are excited for the next one.